We'll guide you through how to download and install the Cave Horror Project mod pack in Minecraft. If you find this useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is a really great mod pack and it's quite scary and unique so let's go and get it. First of all quit Minecraft. So to go and do this we're going to be using an app and this app makes it super easy to go and download and install mod packs. What you do need to do though is have Minecraft installed on your computer. If it isn't this won't go and work. So after you've got Minecraft installed, you probably already do, go and open up a web browser and just come to Google or another search engine. And what you want to do is go and search for CurseForge. This is the app we're using. CurseForge is fantastic. It's got so many mods on there and it's got this app as well. So you can go to the top right and click on get CurseForge app. And you can then go to the bottom left and click on download standalone. It'll go and take a moment and it'll go and download. Now while you wait for that to finish, I want to say a big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. They're my go-to place for a Minecraft server, so if you want to start playing with friends, go and check out the link in the description and in the pinned comment. They've got so many awesome features, for example, one click and store mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support. There's instant setup, so upon purchase, your server is ready to play in seconds. As I said, it'll be linked down below. And at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice. So definitely go and check them out. Now that it's finished downloading, we need to install it. So you can go and open up your file explorer and come to your downloads. Go and find CurseForge and go and run it. This is just like installing another app. You choose the language. You can see the installation folder and you need to accept the terms of use and privacy policy and confirm you're at least 18 years old and click next. And then what you can do is make sure you agree to this here and click accept and install. It will download and automatically install. And just like so, it's now finished and it says forging your library. So just keep waiting. Now you're gonna notice on the left here, I've got the Minecraft icon. If you do, go and click on it. If you don't, but Minecraft is definitely installed as it needs to be, you can then click on the plus like so on add a game and you can scan your computer for games or manually go and add it. It's usually pretty good though and finds it. You'll go and see I've got quite a few different mod packs here and that's because I've used it before. So yours may be empty, but it doesn't really matter. What we can do is click on the search at the top and go and type in cave horror. It'll probably appear with that. And as you can see here it is cave horror project. So you can go and click on it and you can scroll down and go and read more about it. But to go and get it, you can go to the top right and go and click on install like so. And the process will start. Now this may take a bit of time depending upon your internet speed. When it's finished, it will go and say play. And now when you go and click on Minecraft over to the left or click on my mod packs, you'll go and see it in this list here as well. You can then go and click on it and we can click on play. So we can go to the left of play and you'll go and see the cave horror project. So we can go and click on play here. You need to confirm that you want to run it as it is modified. And here we are. So what we can do is go and click on single player and they'll go and create a world. Here we are, it's now gone and loaded. And as you can see, it looks pretty different to normal Minecraft. So if you found this useful, then please consider subscribing. If you want a Minecraft server, go and check out Apex.